Market update here on the 8th. <clears throat> so QQQ, I don't know what this is. This is just a random pump. Because you can see right here that this is an ABC move. This is not a five-wave move to end this. Unless this is considered a five-wave move. Um, so what I'm thinking on this is they are basically taking this to a higher than the 1.61 fib, I guess. Usually expanded flats end around the 1.61 fib, but this is insane. Like this is just going, there's not any pullbacks. It's just straight up. Um, so there's not really any technical analysis to do on this one, really. It's just a random pump. So um, we are like way overextended now on the 15 minute and 30 minute. You can see here, which a lot of times will show you where the top's at. So 15 minute, uh, we came close to the bottom. Now we're at the outside of the top 30 minute, same thing close to the bottom. Now we're at the top. So you would think we get a pullback here. Um, it'd be kind of crazy if they were to take this all the way up to 408 straight away. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but overall there's two different possibilities for this move from here. Um, we're either going to get A, B, C like that, or this could end up being W, X, Y. This could be the end of the pump right here. This could end up being <clears throat> down here to the phantom print at 390. <clears throat> I think the first one is more likely, but um, you do have the Bitcoin um, ETF approval stuff going on here in the next couple of days. So uh, maybe they're trying to run this up here to 408 before then and then sell off after that. Not really sure what's going on here, but straight up pump. We'll see where it lands. Um, gap here, weekly demand down here. So Tesla is an expanded flat and they're kind of holding this down, not really moving that much. I still think this is going to go up here to 247 and then potentially even higher than that before earnings. I'm kind of looking at something like this. Um, cause it hasn't bounced at all, really. I mean, it, it came down here to 234. So we, I guess we bounced like maybe two and a half percent or so. And you look at the daily time frame, we are still looking for a green candle here. And we're close to the very mm -hmm. bottom of the, uh, 20 day moving average Bollinger band. So, um, yeah, we still haven't bounced here. I'm looking for a green candle to at least four hours of buy here at 247. And then I'm, I'm thinking the most likely move from here is probably going to end up being this. But we'll see as it goes on. Uh, Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is probably in a B wave. And I would be pretty bearish going into um, the ETF approval. Just based on this right here, it looks pretty bearish to me. But the max target here for me would be about 48,000. And then that could end up being something like this. I think something like that's going to happen. That's the most likely scenario. Or it can it could do something like QQQ. Maybe it'll just take off and technical analysis doesn't matter. Um, but that's what I see on the chart. This looks very corrective. And getting into coin now, um, I had a trade on this today. I bought shares at 151. I sold at 161, partly by luck. Um, I was just kind of scaling out around this area, and then I decided to take all my profit there. Um, 164 would be the short-term target, but it could potentially go to 171 too. There's a gap fill up here. But again, on coin, this is a corrective move, and this looks pretty, um, it's either an A wave or a W wave. So if you're looking at something like this on coin, you're looking at a move down here. Or if it wants to extend farther up here to 170, um, this took about five or six days. So as long as it goes to the 10th, then that would be a B wave. If it goes up here and just hits 164 tomorrow, I'd probably consider it an X wave. And then down here, 
um, for the overall Y wave. So um, I did a trade on this one. I sold my shares. I also sold puts at 130 for February OPEX. And then um, I bought some 140 puts. And I also have a call for the summer at 150 in the money call. So my thinking is it could go to 170. It's not going to pump because we have an ABC move here. So it's not going to pump in my opinion. I think the most likely thing is it's going to pump a little bit and then people are going to be all excited and not take profit. And then it's going to sell off and everyone's going to be really, really annoyed. If we zoom out here on the daily chart on coin, I think that it is in a fourth wave of an overall third wave. So I think we're looking at something like this. Targets 128. Um, let's just look and see where this could go. This is not going to give me a good target, actually. I probably shouldn't use this because it's going to say 320. Uh, I think my target was like 267. That's my target. Based on if this is an expanded flat, which I'm not sure if this is an expanded flat or not. This could just be five waves up. If it's five waves up, it can go much higher than that. But if it's an expanded flat, my target is the 1.61 Fib, which is at uh, 267. So I think we're only in a fourth wave of an overall third wave, though. And the chart invalidation on that would be 114. And my target for this fourth wave, though, is still at 128. That is a daily demand area. Like I said, it could come up here to four hour supply before it bounces down here or falls down here to 128 but I'm looking for 128 um, before another move higher to complete the third wave and then um, that's pretty much where I'm at right now so 128 is the overall target uh, let's see Mara is doing kind of what I talked about in the video last week I'm looking for like 30 bucks on this potentially a, a pump up here um, unless it comes down here first, then it would pump later, but I'm looking for something into this daily supply zone. And then I'm looking for a big drop after that, probably down here to like 18 bucks or so. So maybe even more than that. Let's see if this goes to 30 bucks though. Yeah. You're probably looking at something around 18 bucks on Mara. Um, Apple. Let's see. Apple, again, another expanded flat. Pretty obvious it's an expanded flat. So it should only go to the 1.61 Fib. And this as well passed the 1.61 Fib. So um, there's no way of telling where this is going to end at this point. I don't know if they're just going to take this straight up to 190 at this point. But um, it should have already stopped. So, and I own shares of this too, but it keeps on going and uh, we'll see what happens with it, I guess. We'll see when we get a pullback. Um, QQQ again should pull back. Let's go over BA because BA had some news over the weekend and I don't think that this is finished yet. So you can see here, this is probably the end of a third wave. So, one, two, three, four. You're probably going to get a fifth wave here. Let me look at this on lower time frames. I don't think that this is finished yet. This is probably going to go up a little bit higher, though. Unless they come out and say that everything's fine on the airplanes. They grounded them. They found out everything's fine. Then it'll probably take off. But as far as right now, it kind of looks to me like... And let's zoom out here on the whole chart. So this finished five waves, basically. 
Um, it basically hit this supply zone and it came at about a dollar or two away. And now we're selling off. So this can be a lot of different things. It is making a impulse move down. So I'd be pretty cautious if you're long here because we don't know if that was a top right there or if this is just a corrective move and it's gonna go higher after that. So my targets on this are short term, I would say 224 to 220. So maybe it bounces and comes down here. It could come all the way down here to 210 as well, or all the way down here to 197. Um, remains to be seen what we're doing right now. Is this an A wave or is this a first wave right here? Um, zooming out even farther, you'll see here that this move took about two years and three months. So this is possible that this is only wave one. Let's see. But I don't think so because then you're looking at a third wave up here, pullback. You're looking at like five or six hundred bucks. I don't think that's going to happen. It's also possible it's done. And if it's done, then you're looking at this falling all the way to probably the 1.23 fib. Actually, anywhere from. Anywhere from 134, probably down to like 70 bucks if it's finished. So that would just mean this is a first wave down. So it kind of remains to be seen how this uh, news goes. That will affect it, obviously, and uh, we'll see how long it takes. But right now, that's definitely an impulse move. I think a third wave. I'm looking for a fourth wave bounce. And then I'm looking for more downside. So I wouldn't be... If you played the bounce, then you probably made a little bit of money, but not really that much. It was at 227, I think. 225, so you could have made seven bucks. So uh, fourth wave, look for more downside on BA. Um, the dollar. Dollar's flat, nothing to say really. The video was pumping on news that uh, China is going to use their chips. And this could be an ABC move. We don't know yet. I mean, it could go all the way to 585 and still be a B wave. So this right here, see how far this pulled back. It's possible it's a third wave, but based on what I see on all the other charts, I think that this is more than likely going to end up being a B wave. And you're probably looking at something like this later in the next month or two. Then again, we'll see. We'll see. Is that already finished? Is this a first wave right here? And this is a second wave pullback? Um, it could be. You zoom in here a little bit farther. I think this is a B wave just based on the structure of it. So you might be able to see 520 on this. Um, if it breaks above that and goes to 540 then I would be kind of like uh, maybe it's not a B wave but it also could be um, WXY to 540 that could be a B wave and then we pull back here so I'm thinking more than likely this is either here or here and then we come back down here over the next month or so that's what I'm thinking we'll see um, and it could come down farther too it could be um, ABC or WXY right here and then come down even farther than that but I would say it's probably a B wave of a second wave so this probably is actually the fourth wave right here I should mark that right now and then this is probably gonna end up being something like that and then this is gonna be so 
that's pretty much all I got today. Uh, I'm pretty much done. Got an hour left in the market. But I'm expecting probably a pump on the miners and everything over the next day or two. I think the approval comes in on the 10th, maybe. And so look for something into the 10th um, higher, potentially. Bitcoin, maybe to 48K. And you'll know if I'm wrong, then that means Bitcoin's going to fly past 48K. 48K is like the max target for a B wave. So if I'm wrong, then these can just take off. But I think that I'm going to be more than likely going to be right, just based on the structure. So that's pretty much it. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me if there are any, any stocks you want me to look at tonight. Any stocks you recommend to trade. My big trade today was coin. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe. Talk to you in the next video.